I moved to Nashville almost 10 years ago to pursue a career in music. And ever since moving out here, I've practiced, recorded, and filmed my drumming out of this little 10 by 10 foot storage unit. And this tiny room has helped me to not only keep my chops up and given me a place to play, but also to create a ton of content for social media that helped me get those touring gigs that I dreamed of when I first moved out here. And over the years, I've received a ton of questions from you guys about the logistics of playing drums in a storage container. And since my time in this room is actually coming to an end and I'll be moving into a new space with a new set of goals, I figured it'd be fun to say goodbye to this place by giving you guys a quick tour of it and answering some of the most common questions that I've received about it. So let's start with the tour. We've got my Sakai drum set, Zildjian cymbals, Remo drum heads, Vic Firth drumsticks, DW hardware. We've got some shelves here where I keep drum cases, extra snares, cymbals, drum heads, and other random gear. For recording my drums, I have some Lewitt microphones set up here that are all routed into this Focusrite interface that's plugged into this MacBook. For video, I have these two soft boxes set up, and I've also taped these black bed sheets to the walls to give me that black infinity background effect and make my videos look a little bit more cinematic. For those of you who have been here a while, you'll remember back to the days before I had these black bed sheets on the walls. It was very very obvious where I was. And since I'm admittedly a little bit OCD, I wanted to polish up the look of my videos, go for this black background effect, and it's kind of become the look of the channel. All right, the camera I'm using is the Canon M50, and I'm using the Sigma F1.4 16 millimeter lens on it. And that's a great wide angle lens for this small space. And it also does really well with low light, and it gives me that blurry background effect, which also adds to that cinematic look. All right, let's get to the questions. Far and away, the most common question that I get about this place is, are you really able to just set up drums and play there? The short answer is no. The facility I'm in has the exact same policies as every other storage facility that I've ever heard of, and that's there's absolutely no playing of any instruments at all, ever, period. So. How am I getting away with this? Honestly, it's mostly just dumb luck. When I first moved in, it was one of those ask for forgiveness and not for permission kind of things. I didn't tell anyone that I was planning on playing drums in here. I just simply set my kit up, put on a little headlamp for lighting, and just kind of tried things out for a few weeks to see if anyone would have an issue with it. And when the employees came in to do their rounds, they weren't exactly thrilled with the fact that I was playing in there, but I was super friendly and explained to them that I had just moved into town, I was living in an apartment, I had nowhere else to play, and please can you make an exception for me? And I think because I was nice about it and I was a little bit desperate, I was asking them to help me out. They were forgiving enough and kind enough to make an exception for me, to bend the rules for me. And that's essentially how it's gone ever since. As time went on, my setup continued to grow. I added in all this lighting and recording equipment, and every once in a while, a new manager would come in or a new employee would come in and try to shut me down. But thankfully at that point, I had a track record with the company. I paid on time, I was super friendly, and the older employees that knew me vouched for me. All right, another common question I get is, how do I get power into the room. It's simple, there are outlets along this hallway and I simply plug an extension cable into an outlet and I route that into my room. Next, is this room climate controlled? Absolutely yes, that is a must. But it's not like they're keeping it at 70 in here. It's usually set at the high 70s during the summertime, which is why you'll notice I have a fan running a lot of the time when I play. Another question, do I acoustically treat the walls? No, not at all. Over the years, I've learned more about miking and mixing my drums, and I've made it sound pretty good in this room given the circumstances. For example, check out this video from early on and see how it sounds. Now check out one of my more recent videos.
pretty big difference, right? Now, I do have nicer mics now than I did then, but the main improvement I guarantee you was from me learning how to mic and mix my kit effectively. And it turns out you can get a pretty good sound even in a metal box. Okay, last question. What is it like playing, recording, and filming in here day to day? It's complicated. While I'm very thankful to have access to this space, because I know many drummers don't have access to a place at all, it can be very challenging at times. There's constant distractions with people coming in and out, which makes it very hard to stay focused. There have been many times where I'll be recording or filming a video and I'll have to stop halfway through because someone's either loading in or loading out. And it's really tough to get back in the zone after something like that happens. And I usually just have to pack up and try again the next day. And there are random things like, while this AC is a must, it's actually very loud when it's on. So I actually have to wait for it to turn off in order to do these talking head segments. Okay, case in point, have a listen. Can you hear anything? It's that stinking fan. So I have to wait 10, 15, 25 minutes for that to turn off and then I have maybe a five, 10 minute window where it will be off and I can say what I need to say. It's definitely a form of torture. These things might sound a bit petty for someone who just needs a place to play, but I guarantee you after 10 years, they start to drive you insane. So needless to say, I'm really excited to get out of here. I wanna thank you all for sticking with me over the years in this weird and random spot. It's really meant a ton to me. And as I mentioned, I'll be moving into a new space, which I'm really excited to share with you next time. But until then, thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.